When you're in very close proximity with other people, it really does spread from droplets that are coming out of your lungs. And you can't control that. We all breathe out different things from our lungs all the time. Um, so if you've ever had the flu or a cold, you want to make sure. Um, it's it's kind of in a similar realm of that, is that I can spread it to someone else that way. Um, and so keeping a barrier between you and other people is really important to make sure we don't spread it further and we don't spread it faster. No, you're not going to get it from some food that someone prepared. It's, that's not how it spreads. It really does spread from your coughing or sneezing on someone and then spreading the virus respiratory. Um, and so it's, it's slightly airborne for a very short period of time. It does live in the air for about three hours. So that's also one thing of you don't want to just re get really close to other people at this time. Older people tend to have some of the worst outcomes from it, uh, but it doesn't mean that younger people don't have it too. Um, so younger people tend to be the ones who go from place to place and then spread it somewhere else. So we want to make sure that people know that you can be asymptomatic with it. So that means you don't have symptoms. Um, it, so you cannot have symptoms and have it and then you're touching and doing everything else, but you didn't know. Just walking in public, try to keep a really good six to 10 foot barrier between you and someone else. Um, if you can reach your arm out and you can touch them, you're too close. Uh, so you just wanna make sure that you're kind of keeping that barrier. In our grocery stores right now, that's kind of a little bit difficult. Everyone's in the store trying to get everything. Just respect other people's space. You may have to wait a second before you move into that particular area. But if you're walking down the street and you're walking your dog and someone else is you're walking your dog, just move over to the other side of the street. Um, it's, it's okay, you're, that's a good enough barrier between you and the other person uh, to make sure that you're not too close to them. But the biggest point is that we're all in this together. If we all do our little part, then it helps the big part. It really helps make sure that we are slowing the spread of the disease enough so our clinicians who are having to go into work every day in an emergency room or regular doctor's office, they're also not being exposed to people or being in a place where they, they can actually help clean a lot more because they're not having as many people and they're knowing that the people that they're treating are the ones that they really need to be able to treat the most.